Hey everybody, it's Karen and, and Paul, Paul. <laughs> with Food and Family. We are going to make calzones for dinner tonight, and he's going to help me make them. Possibly. You ready? I'm ready. I bought a store-bought pizza crust. If you want to make your own, you certainly can. This came from the deli, but they do have it in the rolls that you can get over in the dairy section. Just your preference, whichever you want to make. It's not wrong either way. So we have what we like on our pizza, and that is sausage and pepperoni. We have mozzarella cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and some onions if anybody wants some. And I'm just using a store-bought pizza sauce. That's what we like. And I'm going to show you how I start mine, and you want to build yours. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of sauce on one side because we're going to be folding these over. So you don't want it all the way across. And I am i don't want mine gloopy with sauce. I should so, know by now how you do it. Yeah, it's up to you how much you want to put on yours. <laughs> <laughs> you can pour it out. It's up to you. So while he's putting his, I'm gonna put some sausage. Now I've just got some pre-cooked sausage and I cut it up and I am just gonna sprinkle some on top of this sauce. And I know you want some sausage. Oh yeah. Usually I get Canadian bacon to go in here as well and I didn't get any Canadian mm -hmm. bacon. No, I had a hard time finding it in the store this time. I usually have to ask where it's at. I did wash my hands. I know you did. <laughs> he couldn't be in here if he didn't. That's right. We you, want pepperoni. You'd me out, wouldn't you? I love lots of pepperoni on my pizza. How about you? I'd like more sausage or than I do pepperoni. Do you? I like pepperoni. But you, your sausage is your favorite. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there we go. Huh. Getting stuff on my hands, I've got to. This is a clean dish cloth, if you want to wipe your hands. I always keep soapy water or a clean dish cloth to wipe my hands on. I like some onion on mine. And he knows I like some onion on it. You Do you like, like a little bit? I love onions on anyway, don't I? You like it on everything. I do. Do you want some? I do. He probably don't want as much as I do. And then... Now, on pizza, I love onions. Mm-hmm. I don't know that there's much that we don't like mm -hmm. on our pizza. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I don't want a whole lot. I just want a little bit, but we love Parmesan. Mm -hmm. Do you want some Parmesan? Yes, I do. I don't know why I'm asking, because I know he's going to like... He's going to want it. And... Mozzarella cheese. It is not pizza without mozzarella cheese, yeah. And I know this is calzone, but we build it just like a pizza. Me. And I am going to just, I want it when I cut into it, bite mm. into it, I want that cheese to just ooze. There you go. This way, if you set it out, you can have, if you're having a gathering, mm. you could have your crust, your dough all laid out, and your uh, whatever you want on it and you can just let everybody make their own. Mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is pop it in the oven. Sometimes we use pepper jack on it also. Yes, pepper jack is delicious. We love pepper jack cheese. Now, I'm going to take the end that we didn't put sauce on and we're going to fold it over. And I have a fork here and we're gonna crimp it. And the idea is, don't always work, but the idea is to keep all that stuffing inside because we don't wanna lose any of that deliciousness, right? That's right. That's and, why you don't make your sauce, uh, put it on all the way to the end. Yes, so you have to leave it a little bit. Well, it won't squish out too much. I got a little bit coming out. And you know what? Once you do this, it's going to mm -hmm. put that inside. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, I always 
kind of go around and then I go back again to try to ensure that it's sealed. And if you, if you don't get it sealed good, it's just going to go out everywhere. Got a little uh, too close there. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to do that, you can roll up the bottom to the top and kind of pinch it around if you want to. I've been in restaurants where they actually serve the calzones like that and uh, instead of crimping it like I did. Yeah, get it real, real good and tight. It is. Yeah, see, I was seeing that, and I don't think yeah. you saw it. It's just staying. I pushed it back in. Now, we're going to take our sheet here. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Now, what we want to do is I want to put a little bit of oil. I've got some olive oil here, and I'm going to brush it on this pan because I do not want these to stick. We're going to the trouble of making them. We want to be able to get them off this pan so we can eat them, right? Yes. So we're just going to brush them real good. We're not done with that olive oil, though, nor the cheese. Okay, I think that's good right there. So we're going to gently lift it up and place it on this pan. And I know you can't see that. See how I did it? And I'm gonna let him put his up here. Should've got me a spatula. <laughs> <clears throat> you can do it with a spatula also. Yeah. And there we go. Okay, now I wanna brush this with some olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil on the top. And what the olive oil is going to do, it's going to give it a shine. And it's going to get that um, top mm -hmm. really golden, brown, and kind of crispy. That is wanting to come apart right there. It is. It's not wanting to stay. But you know what? It's going to be okay. It'll be fine. And I don't know about you, but I want to sprinkle just a tiniest bit of this Parmesan on top of mine. Would you like some? Mm-hmm, go ahead. Just I don't want it heavy. No. I just want it real light. Looks good to me. Okay, now we're gonna bake this in this 400 degree preheated oven, 18 to 20 minutes, and we'll keep a watch on them at about 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. And when they start getting golden brown, we're gonna test mm. this crust and make sure it, it's all done so when they get done we're going to come back and we're going to show show you what they look like okay and then we're going to taste them y'all stay with us our timer just went off you want to grab our pizzas our oh, calzones yeah. calzones i sure do i can't wait they're smelling so good, y'all. Now, it took, it said 18 to 20 minutes. Ours took about 25, 27 minutes to cook. Keep in mind, my oven cooks a little bit slower than a lot of ovens do. Oh, my, oh. They look good. They look so good. Oh, my goodness. Looky there. Yeah, I was trying to fix his pizza Hot. that he put together to keep it from leaking, and mine's the one that leaked. But you know what? It don't matter. It's going to be good anyway. That's right. It is going to be good. So I want to get them off of this pan since it's hot yeah, to, to keep, keep it cooking. Yeah, to keep it from cooking some more. So let's look up under the bottom of that. Oh, you see how crusty Perfect. that is? Mm -hmm. It's hot, and I can't hold it up for you guys. Let's see if we can do that. I want to show you the bottom of it. How we do that? That's the bottoms, how crusty. Listen. Oh my goodness. Let's move this hot pan okay. so we don't touch it and get burned. Let me get the hot pan. 
It's always better to be safe when you're in the kitchen. It's warm. Yes, it is. Okay. My goodness. Now, I want to let it sit here for just a minute to kind of let everything settle down so it don't just all run out when we cut it. Because I don't know about you, but I'm going to have to cut this. Mm-hmm. So, Me too. Um, it's going to be hot even a few minutes after you cut it. <laughs> yes, it is. So, I want to get my very sharp Raider knife. Now, Yum, if you haven't got any Raider knives, I wish you would go out and look at them. There is a link in the description box up under this video to these Raider knives, and they are the absolute best things. Mm -hmm. They stay hot. You don't sharpen these very often. No. Uh... He's my Not like I used to the others. And uh, they will last you a lifetime. They're not expensive. And if you need a gift for somebody, especially a cook, this is the best thing. Because to mm -hmm. me, a knife is the most important tool for me in my kitchen. I want to cut this open. Might as well, so you know what? I think I'm gonna put it down here so on this board. Uh oh, on this board, mm -hmm. and then here's that crunch. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all can hear that. They can. When you cut mine, I'll hold the mic down too. <laughs> Looky here. Looky here. And it's full of goodies. I hate nothing worse than going and getting a sandwich or a pizza or something like be this. Soggy. And they be, yeah, soggy. Yeah. And they're very little mm -hmm. filling in it. When I want something like this, I want it full. I won't eat all of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he can take some to work with him tomorrow. Okay. And then he's off the rest of the week. He's going fishing. Rib fishing and trout fishing. In Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So Brandon and Parker's going with him. It you looks know. like the weather's going to be nice. It does appear that way, doesn't it? I hope it, it stays that way. You want to hold that up there? Mm -hmm. I will. Isn't that a good looking dish? That Yummy. is just... Mm, that's yummy looking. It sure is steaming. It is. <laughs> steaming hot. It is very hot, but I want to try it. We better wait a minute. <laughs> I think we better wait a minute. Let's try this. Still we could talk hot. about that place. We love it. Our kids love it too. I'll try a little bite. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Microphone's right here by the piece, so you mm. can hear the crunch. Mm, that's good. Oh my goodness. So good. You're not limited to what you can put in this. Whatever you like on your pizza. Mm -hmm. If you want peppers in it, you can put peppers. Um, hot peppers, mild peppers, no peppers, onions. Anything, it, it's, there's just no limit to um, it. Whatever you like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is just how we like ours. But, you don't have to dice up the onions either. You can put the rings mm -hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I think the last time I made them for us, I made little half moons mm -hmm. and put in there. You did. And this time I diced them up. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Too. Serve it along with some uh, cheese dip. We usually make a cheese dip to go with it. And I know this is one most everybody has made where you use the Velveeta and the Rotel tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We love that with pizza. That's we, very good. Mm -hmm. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And we hope you'll make these. Like I said, you can use the uh, bakery dough. Um, most every 
grocery store that I've been in has the pre-made dough. Um, just let it sit out for a little bit so you can work it. Because uh, if you don't, it's just going to, you're going to roll it out and it's going to shrink back up. So you've got to let it give time to get used to it. You can buy the pizza and the, um, the roll. Or you can make your own. Mm -hmm. We just like to make it easy. And this is something that... Well, you that... make larger ones and the size of the pan, cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Roll it over for four yeah. or five people. And this is something that you can make when you come in from work. You've got a meal made in just a matter mm -hmm. of minutes. Use the pre-cooked sausage. You can buy pre-cooked sausage now that's already crumbled up. Mm -hmm. You don't have to cook the pepperoni uh, or... Canadian bacon if you want it. And I'm telling you, Parker loves nothing. When he was younger, we would fry pepperoni for him, and he loved it. He couldn't get enough till we just finally said no more. But anyway. I bet I her other grandson Dalton loved this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would. Mm -hmm. I know I talk about Parker a lot. Parker's here with me more, and Dalton is up in Huntsville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and But I hope... I will be seeing him in another week or two. He should be coming home. And I hope this weekend, since it's going to be Easter, I hope y'all make this. And if you do, please let us know and tell us what you think about it. And if you haven't, we hope you'll think about ordering one of our cookbooks. Um, 101 Delicious Recipes. Mm. This pizza is not in this cookbook, but... It might be in the next one. You never know. So, but the link to this book will be in the description box up under this video. So think about it, please. And I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, hit that little notification bell so you'll know when we put out another video. You ready to go eat dinner? I'm ready. All right. Good we'll to see y'all. We'll see you soon, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.